hello and welcome to a tutorial on Cybox. This is the first of our little mini series. In this video, we will show you how to create new content within your Cybox. So once you've logged in with your NetID and password, you'll be taken to a screen similar to this. If you haven't logged in, don't worry about this. This is just uh, folders that I have in my own Cybox. So to start with, we'll navigate up to new select folder and go ahead and name this folder whatever you'd like for this example we'll just call it test um, you can directly invite people or you can keep it private um, if you don't want anyone else to be on that for right now we'll keep it private until we have added our content so go ahead and select OK and you can see your new folder has been created here double click and you'll be taken to this screen where you can either drag and drop folders or files from the desktop or create a box note which is just a little document saying what your folder is about. So we'll just go ahead and create a box note. Name it description. And it takes you to this screen which is going to look similar to Word. So we'll say this folder is for the sidebox introduction. And you can see that I wrote it here, I'm online, um, and that it's been saved. So uh, this saves automatically, you can just uh, navigate outside of this window, and there's your box note right here. Now that we have some content, let's invite collaborators. Collaborators is anyone you're going to choose to share this folder with. So if you hit invite people here, you will only be sharing this folder. So go ahead and select invite people and you'll be taken to the screen. Um, in this box here, we're going to enter an email address. So test at iastate.edu. This is just a fictional email address that we have here. And now we're going to start talking about permissions. Each of these are a little bit different. Um, you can learn more here, but we'll do a quick overview of everything that is listed here. So the highest permission you can have is owner, which is not even listed on this. It, it goes automatically to you as you were the one who created that folder. A uh, co-owner co can do everything that you can do except for obviously have ownership or delete the folder. Um, and this is good if you are sharing um, with people you trust, similar to editor. Editors can upload, download, preview, get the link, edit, and delete. So they, they have very similar permissions here. Um, a viewer uploader can do everything the editor can do except for um, delete and sync via box sync, which is something we can talk about in a later video. Previewer and uploaders can simply preview and upload, and then these viewer, previewer, and uploader options are very self-explanatory. So most of your roles are going to be editors. So you can see the personal message that will be sent here, and we'll go ahead and stick with that. We'll go ahead and send invites. Obviously it shows up it's an invalid email, but um, you can then go ahead and see your collaborators that you've all sent emails to on this uh, side of the screen. You can also share the folder via a link which is generated, and this is um, unique if you are wanting to share this with a wider audience you don't have to send a hundred emails so um, you have various options down here um, people with the link means that anyone that clicks on that link will be directed to that folder which means it's going to be a public folder people in your company uh, only those in your company have access so it's a little bit more specific and then people in this folder allows only people who have access as in collaborators to access this link. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and we will produce three more on Sidebox, so feel free to check those out. Thank you.